how do you use a fin alignment guide like this one right here when the fin is thinner than the slot? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I want to show you how to use a fin alignment jig like this one here with thinner wood than what's in the slot. So this fin uh, alignment tool is for 1 8 inch wood, which is this way right here. And you can see that that slides nicely inside the slot. If I want to use thinner wood, and this is 3 32nd inch, so it's a little bit thinner. It's 1 32nd of an inch thinner than the 1 8 inch wood. And you can see that it's really sloppy in there. Now you could take a piece of 1 32nd inch wood, and so if you stack these two together like that, now this is 1 8 and that's the equivalent of this one right here. But you don't want to put all of the thickness on one side, so if you put that in there, that slides in nicely, but it's all on one side and it's pushing the fin off to the side, so we need to split this 1 32nd inch into two pieces. Now that would be 1 64th, which is exactly half of 1 32nd. So here are two pieces of 1 64th inch plywood, and if you stack them together, that's the same thickness as a 1 32nd inch piece of wood. So ideally, this is what you would do. You would use two pieces of 1 64th on the 3 30 seconds, and that's nice and snug, and then now it's equal on both sides. But say you don't have a piece of 1 64th inch wood. Most people don't. It's hard to come by. You can buy it at a hobby store, but for this purpose, why buy a sheet of wood? Because this is expensive stuff, when you can just get some paper. Um, so right here, I've got some index card paper which is this right here, the white, and the yellow is just regular bond paper. Um, if you stack one sheet of index paper and one sheet of bond paper together, it's pretty close to the equivalent of 1 64th inch wood. So we can use that to center up our fin. And these are called shims. Whenever you're trying to uh, match the thickness of something, it's called a shim. So you would shim it up like that. And so to use it, you would take your fin, take your glue, put the glue on there like that, and then I take and I wipe almost 90% of it off. We only want enough to get it to stick to the tube. And then I'll take my tube and put that in there like that. And take the fin. And before you put the fin touching the wood, or touching the tube, you want to make sure you get your, fit, your shims in there. Now make sure your shims are wider than the two pieces of cardboard right here. So that you're make, you, you can make sure that you go all the way through. So I'm all the way through on that side. Oh, and I just fell through. Flip it over. Like that. So now I got both my shims in, and then I'll put my fin where I want it on the tube and then press it into place and just let it dry. So it's pretty simple to use and that's how you use a shim to center your fin inside of a fin alignment guide where the wood is thinner than the slot. So this allows you to use this particular fin alignment jig for 1 8 inch wood, 3 32nd inch wood, and even 1 16th inch wood if you would so desire. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. If you like this video, I got something new for you to do today. 
instead of just hitting the like, the thumbs up button or the subscribe button, go to Google and write a review about Apogee components. If this was useful, make it a good review. If it was not so useful, well, you be honest. Um, over here off to the side, we have some other videos that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Uh, again, thanks for coming.